fetched our admin username and its ID by using the login attempt function. So it's time we can use the admin name in all the operation where we need. As I told you before, the session data is saved inside your browser till you open your browser. And the session data will be deleted from your browser when you close it. So now we have these admin ID name and username inside session so we can use it dynamically. So the first thing I will do here on the success I will redirect to the page of dashboard.php and for the error message we will stay on the same page of login.php. So if I save this one and first let's refresh our page. So giving it username of Jazib and password of 1234. See now we are on the page of dashboard.php. So now we can use this admin name at every single place. So I will copy this session admin name from here. And first of all, opening my categories.php, you can see on line 7 we have the default admin Jazib. So now we will make it dynamically by adding that session variable here. So if I save this one and first of all let's log in from our other admin. So you can see we have this username of Tom with the password of 1234. So I will go to the page of login.php. So we will give it username of Tom password of 1234. So now we logged in from the account of Tom. So if I save this file of categories.php, so the current session of admin name will be equal to this variable of admin. So it's completely up to you whether you want to put this admin name here or you can put the username here. But I will go with the username because this admin name field was optional at the time when we created our registration page. Let me show you where. So inside this page of admins.php, we made this name field to be optional one. And here you can see that we have nothing in the field of admin name for this username of Tom. So at the time when you will not have the admin name, it will show you just the welcome message of welcome. Otherwise, it will show you this admin name as a session variable. Let me show you again. So if I go to login.php file, if I log in from the account of Jazib, login, I'm on dashboard.php, which we don't have created right now. So if I just go to this admins page, you can see we got the message welcome Jazib Akram. And here Jazib has the name of Jazib Akram. So if I go to login page again, and use the account of Tom and password here. See, we are on the page of dashboard.php. And if I go to the admins page for the session message, you can see we are just getting the welcome here. So the welcome message will have the admin name, but for all of the operation of person who is creating categories, adding new posts or adding new admin, we will stick to the username of our admin. So in this categories.php page, our admin variable will be equal to the session variable of username. So if I save this one and go to this page of categories.php and add new category of science publish category edit successfully let's browse this category page you can see now we have this author of tom at the place of category where the title is science so same like this if i log in from the account of jazib so if i give it category title of politics publish category edit successfully and here in my database 
you can see this politics category added by the author of Jazib. So cool, right? So I can do the same thing in my posts page. So opening add new post, you can see we have the default admin. So we will make it dynamically by putting the session username here and we'll equal our admin variable to this one. So now if I add new post, publish post edit successfully so in my post page you can see we have this new post and the admin name is equal to jazib so we do have one more place to add the session username and that is in my admins.php file at the time when we are adding the admin we will add the admin name so i will add the session variable here of username saving this one so if I go to my page of admins.php and add new admin of Xerox one to one publish. So if I go to this admin page, you can see this new admin which is added by Jazib. If I log in from the other account of this newly created admin Xerox one to one. So putting that username here and putting the password here 1234 login you can see we are on the dashboard.php if I refresh this admin page you can see we got the new session message here Zilu so if I add one new admin here with the name of username to be Zoe password 1234 publish new admin with the name of Zoe Bond added successfully and here you can see that the username of Zoe triple three added and the admin name with the name of Zoe Bond and added by this Xerox one to one so wherever you want to add the name of the person for different operation make this variable of dollar admin to session user name so that's how we will track every single activity of our admin on this CMS blog.